bitch better have my money. Jeez. You're welcome to our show. There's so much going on. I'm, we're trying to focus here. I'm sorry about that. It, yeah, yeah. Good morning. And you're listening to the Opie and Anthony Show. There you go. Patrice O'Neill in studio. Good morning. Yes. How are you? We Good got, morning, fellas. We got uh, morning, one of the Patrice. cleavage girls still on the couch. We're calling them the cleavage girls. Girls. They don't really want to talk on air, but they, uh, they're here to look pretty for they're us, I guess. Lovely ladies from the Hard Rock They're here, here to New be York objectified. City. Yes. Yes, is there any other reason for them to be here? Well, cleavage is in this year, and I couldn't be happier. When was cleavage? Yeah, out? when was it out? No, all the articles are saying it's it's really in this year. Have you been walking around the streets of New York? It, it's more noticeable this year than than past summers. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I don't even know how to make this not bleeped. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I I I noticed throughout all the years I've been alive that you notice the girls that are showing a lot of cleavage. So you, it's almost well, here, like by default every year is well. Here's year. the problem. Here's the problem. This is why this is why you notice that it's it's more than usual. Mm -hmm. Like average girls are feeling brave enough to do the cleavage thing this summer. Oh really? And the girls that have the really over the top freckly cleavage area and just. Just cleavage areas that should be covered up. Covered up? Yeah. They're f feeling free and exposing? Yeah, it's kind of like when the, uh, you know, the low-rise uh, jeans mm -hmm. came out and became, you know, very popular. At first, it was just like the, the supermodel. Right. And then like... Uh, nice slender girls. Slender girls. And then it becomes so popular that every girl jumps on board and decides, okay, I, my my uh, my ass looks good in these as well. And my body's good enough for <laughs> and this. And you get some horror shows. And you get the at. muffin top. Yeah, the mu I love the muffin top. <laughs> now, does she wear that because it's in style? No, she she wants uh, better. I mean, is this is this a? I'm saying is the way she's dressed. Is this a, a like you said? Is it a style thing? Like it's in, this or is, is she just because she does it? This is more to get uh, better tips. She's a bartender. So during the day you wear sweaters or whatever, because you don't want to be defined by your cleavage, right? No, this is this is what I'd wear like during the day. During the day, you look like a dude. Mm. Like, whatever, yeah. 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 Whether I'm working or I'm not, I'm walking down the street. How do you want to be defined? Well, <laughs> well, it's not like I'm going to be able to have a conversation with someone. So, yeah, when I'm walking down the street, I want to look good. I'm yeah, but how do you want to be defined? Defined, right? Defined? As a woman. As a woman? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> She's as dumb as a branch, and I. this is why I love her. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a lot of pressure to talk. Oh, God bless her. That's why we're calling her cleavage Just girl. Just cleavage it up, baby. Just stay it's objectified and be like, so I like her. We had two cleavage girls. Now we're down to one. So the other but, one left. The other one has a has this the, the shoulders of dignity. <laughs> but she, <laughs> she has some weird integrity I don't like. And are you intim intimidated by the two girls from the Bunny Ranch that showed up? No, not at all. Because they're showing a little more than your show. That's okay. They're walking around in just uh, panties and, and bras. That's okay though. Stop. Stop. I bet you do just fine at the bar. I really do. Like yeah. I don't, yeah. I'm not intimidated name, by name other two chess cleavage. pieces. I, I don't know. I heard you talking about that before. I don't Good know what girl. That's what I'm talking about. Stop know. with the integrity thing. You're pretty enough to deal with those two. Trust me. You Thank have you. like a Long Island regular girl look. Those girls Thank are. You. A lot of guys don't like girls that look like that. The tall, not only super duper yeah, looking yeah. girls. Not only does she have good cleavage, you know she gets scrapped. Yeah, she's something real about her. Yeah, you, she can scrap. Yes, yes. Please. <laughs> Dive across the bar and take care of some guy that's giving her a little trouble. I had a, I had a theory if I was blessed to be a young woman that I would be a whore so no one wanted me no more. I would make millions of dollars till I was 45 and then I would better myself when nobody wanted me. <laughs> and then I would learn a skill. Go to skill. school at 45, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I want to better myself. I got a $10 million, yeah. took advantage of my sexuality. And then, bam! We, that make that is a hell of a plan if you were abroad. <laughs> if I was abroad, I'd be like, here you we, go. We did that show. We all uh, talked about what, what kind of broad we would be yeah. if we were abroad. <laughs> it was pretty funny, man. I think we all decided we were going to be whores. <laughs> I think I said I wanted to be kind of uh, like a tease. You want to be a, a C tease? tease? Yeah. yeah. You'd be coy. I would, <laughs> yeah. I would bring the property value down to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if any woman didn't give up none, they'd go, boy, is this slut Patrice that will give you some for a glass of water? It don't even have to be spring. <laughs> hey, uh, we're going to meet Bear next. Uh, yep. The girls from the Bunny Ranch, Patrice, are here because we're giving a lucky father a trip to the Bunny Ranch for Father's Day. And the guy for Bear. For a date. The guy Bear. There, there's the other cleavage girl. Sexy. Hi. Hi. 
Um, uh, wow, she, she just stopped us in our tracks. Yeah. What, what were we like talking she has about? hopes and dreams. <laughs> <laughs> What's your hopes? What's, how do you want to be defined, beautiful, in your life? I'm sorry, what? How do you want to be defined? Um, Good girl. Another <laughs> idiot. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there my go. God. It's nothing better than that, dude. They're not ready to talk. <laughs> I'm just... Can we can we call them idiots like right here? Or is that yeah, subjugation? No, you don't have to worry about that. Can, yeah. I'm just playing good right, talk. No, no offense. Right I find that to be very sexy. You don't need to... That's what you're gorgeous. Take advantage of that. Because we're going to... No matter what you do, that's what we're going to think of you anyway. So just be bigger than that. Okay, I will. You know what I'm saying? All right. Name two chess pieces. <laughs> Um, the horse and... Good girl! <laughs> Cuckoo! That's what I'm talking about. Good girl! <laughs> Little sexy nincompoops. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, sir. For fishing these two, uh... <laughs> Good girl. The horsey. <laughs> the horsey? And the thingamajig. <laughs> the X and the O. Hey, speaking of which, uh, this, this makes sense here. Uh, Wally from Harrison, New Jersey. Oh, my God, you guys got to see Jill Nicolini's fun bags today. Oh, we were really talking nice. about that in the office. Uh, the the uh, the traffic girl here in New York City. She does uh, local traffic for Channel Eleven, and uh, she's trying to find conservative outfits in her closet, and she just can't. Good luck. So she, I think what she does is she she finds two slutty outfits and puts them together to make one conservative outfit. But it's not working because you can no. still just see all of her wares, <laughs> and it just it annoys the anchor woman to no end. The anchor woman and uh, Linda Church, we love her. She's a fan of the show, but she's getting a. Uh, She's getting a, Don't say a it. Don't. she's getting a bit up there Don't in say years, it. and she knows it. She's a fan of the show. Yesterday, Girl. Jill Nicolini's uh, traffic outfit. Oh, she has. They have her doing traffic like it's weather. Yeah, because it's like beginner traffic, a uh, beginner weather, I guess. You do the little traffic, and then they move you into the the weather position. But that never happened on TV. They they would do weather like that in that format. But traffic was always done by either the helicopter or you know uh, a big fat guy just kind of sitting in a room with TV monitors. And he would tell you what the traffic is. Yeah. But she's doing it like standing up like you would in front of a weather map. Yeah. She's standing in front of a bunch of uh, uh, animated streets and uh, little animated cars that are driving by and telling you where the, the jam-ups are. Yeah. There's no reason for her to do that, no. aside from the fact that she looks great and they just want to put her yeah, they're uh, on TV. They're, they're getting her ready to be the weather girl. It's yeah. so obvious. And Linda Church knows that. And the other morning, uh, Jill Nicolini was wearing something just completely ridiculous, yeah. like a tight-fitting like uh, sort of light sweater thing. And yeah. everyone's eyes were just staring at Jill uh, in the office. And then they went to Linda Church to do the weather. And we've been in that studio. Linda Church kept having her eyes move all the way to the left as she's trying to do her weather report because she's still looking at Jill Nicolini going, how the hell is she getting away with this what is she on wearing? TV? What is she wearing? Do you think she just comes in because for the most part you only see her from the waist up that she's just wearing little boy shorts? <laughs> <laughs> Just killing everybody in there, the cameramen. And none of the executives are going to tell her no. not to just come in. with in She should be shorts. able to wear whatever she wants. Harumph, 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 Give her a promotion. I like that girl. She's got spunk. She's on the fast track to be an anchor woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. She doesn't seem like to, seems to be that bright. <laughs> <laughs> Passing a lot of judgment on the intelligence of pretty women hey, today. Man, she's a Long Island broad. We love them. You uh, know, anyone from Long Island? Yeah, you are. Yeah, what town? There you go. Uh, East Islip. East Islip. Wow, come on. I live there. There you go. I went to Timber Point Elementary School. Oh. Is what's if, yes. if, what's the uh relativeness uh in terms of uh black and white neighborhoods? What's what's at that but when when you I know, lived there though, the it, was, it was a long time ago. It was uh it was very white. Is it still no, very white? No, I know white? white people are there now. Yeah. But I'm saying in terms of what area would it be? Would it be Upper East Side? Would it be like the middle of the Bronx? It's for so white, for hard people, to. Long it's so hard to equate city <clears throat> to suburbia out there. Yeah, it's just middle class white. It's equivalent, let's say, to black people. I don't know. It's very local, so I'm sorry, but like it's equivalent to white people as wine dance is to black people, <laughs> which is probably the blackest area of um, East Islip is very like very upper. Uh, middle class white people. You would live in. Uh, I lived there. Wouldn't we, we talking now? Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I would live. I would live there. I would live there. You would live in East Life. You, you buy a house in East Life. I slip. Yeah, Patrice considers that a good gauge. But then again, I lived in Central Islip, which is the opposite. Which of, is a different of that. thing. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Right, listen, we got. There's take... like a Mason Dixon line in between the two. <laughs> You're being very careful. <laughs> well, we got to be for a while. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just trying to get a gauge of yeah. what East Islip is. I know it's all Long Island. I'm just trying to figure. Yeah. Out. Why are you tempting us? You. you <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> you got to yeah. move back into this slowly. Don't you understand anything ever? Uh, Patrice O'Neill's going to be at Jones Beach tomorrow night. You looking forward to the show? Uh, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, some honesty. <laughs> Make it look good. We're trying to sell a few extra tickets. Uh, idiot. You know, I would, come on, man. You know I'm always down with Opie and Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Ready to, <laughs> hey, Andy. I, hey, by the way, you, you can walk right up to Jones Beach uh, tomorrow and get a ticket. So uh, the festivities start when? It's going to start very early afternoon in the parking lot. Then it's going to move to the ONA Village. And then I think the actual show starts at 8, I believe. Yeah, and, somewhere and, around And the weather's going to be very, very nice tomorrow. So we're expecting a lot of people to walk up and get their tickets as well tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the tailgating's uh, 3.30. The Village opens at 5, and the uh, show starts at 8. Do we have tickets to give away today, Thad? <clears throat> sure do. Why don't we give away a pair of tickets and a meet and greet so you can meet Patrice O'Neill? I'll meet him. Ah, yeah. Listen, can I ask you a question? I've never been to this part of the world. How how much time should I give myself to leave? Uh, On a Saturday? Out of Saturday. Uh, uh, let's see. Wait, wait. Saturday, uh, yeah. nice nice weather. No way, more than an hour. You get a lot of people driving out to uh, the Hamptons and whatnot. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It shouldn't be that bad. Uh, yeah. For help. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I'd, you I'd, I'd invite you over to spend from Friday night to Saturday at my house, but uh, what? The, the neighbors won't allow it. I'm sorry. You can get a joking me, man. Just, you can get a special pass. I have a I, yeah. I, I have I, a very white acceptable truck. Dude. You really right, do. Listen, listen, you guys you do. All right, you're killing us. We got to take a break. All to catch right, up. we do. We got to catch up. And then we'll up. be cool as we went way too late already. A uh, pair of tickets and a meet and greet for Jones Beach tomorrow. Uh, brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We'll take a random caller right now. You got to know the password for the meet. Oh, what, what is it, Jimmy? We discussed it. I don't yes. want to give it away again. Oh. oh, it's no, it's not just a... No, for the meet and greet, the password, if they want the meet and greet, is um... <laughs> <laughs> Brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. A random caller gets the tickets and the meet and greet. 877-212-5762. And don't be cheap. Go get your own tickets uh, through Ticketmaster or walk up to the venue tomorrow afternoon, okay? It's Opie and Anthony. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Welcome back to the Opie and Anthony radio program. <laughs> Jimmy's bringing us back. back Opie's mouth video. is full. <laughs> He's eating. I was just listening to the interrogation that Patrice was giving oh, no. the two lovely uh, young ladies from uh, the Hard Rock. I just got to uh, quickly say, we have to eat like cavemen yeah. during the break. Oh, the cavemen, that reminds me. That's, that show is going to be great, <laughs> isn't it? Well, oh, that uh, do, 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 do. The uh, it's, caveman series. Don't change wonderful. the subject, though. Anthony was on to something, and I interrupted him. Uh, Patrice just uh, interrogated. There is an interrogation going on. Well, Patrice. we got the cleavage girls on the couch, Ann. Cleavage girls? They're uh, girls from the Hard Rock. Yeah, cleavage One is a girl. server, one is a bartender. I don't define them as cleavage girls, by the way. They're beautiful, beautiful women. Yeah. But Patrice says something like, uh, here's a bartender. What's your name? First first name, Deborah. Deborah. Deborah's sitting there. She's a beautiful girl. And and Patrice works in this, it's not even like a backhanded compliment. I don't know what it is. He said you're a beautiful girl, but you could tell if your father turned sideways during, like, conception that you could have been retarded. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sitting there looking going, how do you see that? Because her, we was talking, I was, like, going, I was trying to fish. She said, because uh, E-Rock... Know yeah, her. you're being concise here. So I was, I was trying to say, hey, look, you know, what's going on? You're trying to be. I thought E Rock was trying to be the. Hey, How does E Rock know her? Yeah, E Rock. What's Long up Island, with that? Right? Hold on, here's what? E Rock. I'm from Long Island. No one, uh, everyone on Long Island doesn't know everyone else. Yeah. How do you know her? It's not E-Rock. like a black thing. Every black guy knows every other there's, black guy. There's no shake in Long Island. What's no. happening, babe? What's happening? All right, no. E Rock, go. Oh, we're well, on TV. Hey, look at you guys. Look at us. See, I took oh, the angry. fake phone call. I took the fake phone call first. Now watch Opie rip me off. Watch. Oh, fake phone call. <laughs> Look, ah, 
fake phone call. We you even made the face oh like he we even thought. made the face like you could feel it vibrating, like <laughs> like like he was annoyed he had to take it. Dude, we both admitted that it, we both took fake phone, fake phone call. We were sick of them following us every day. We're like, well, we'll give them something different today. I didn't want to answer anything, so I figured I just to hold up my phone like I was talking. And, and then they start asking Opie questions, and Opie goes, "Oh damn!" Like he's all annoyed that his phone rang. He made the face. Like, that, ah, yeah. Now he, had, he was just miserable, and then he made the the he he like went back like, "Whoa, phone call!" <laughs> <laughs> like you did really sell it, <laughs> like a Kramer. Whoa, phone call. <laughs> <laughs> phone call so anyway, is hysterical. So anyway, E-Rock, yeah, we, we E-Rock. noticed you were flirting with the cleavage girls, or one of the cleavage girls. I wasn't flirting. And then we called you out on you like, no, I know her sister. You know Deborah's uh, sister. Yeah, she said where she was from, so I was asking her where in East Islip, and it turns out that I graduated with her older Coincidentally, sister. Coincidentally, but what made you go over there anyway? Because mm. she said she was from East Islip. That's where I'm oh. from. So you just took a stand that you would know someone. That's <laughs> what I'm, no, I'm from East Islip. I never she even was attempted. Four twenty-five. You would have went over there and just said like, "Hey, you." Me, that's you know, what I was people. catching him in. Right, I was right. catching him being the Mister. Hey, I'm not like these guys. Talk thing. Yeah. Right. And I. And so he goes. She goes. I know her sister. What does her sister look like? He said the sister was a mess. Yeah, he so, openly said to everybody in the room, right in front of her, too, in front yeah. of the cleavage girl, that her sister is a mess. She didn't disagree and defend her sister not one second, by the way. <laughs> I, so, I did not. <laughs> not one second. I just said I looked different. No, you um, didn't. When we said she was a anybody. mess, you just went, I guess. I'm now, an I'm an exception. Now, she, now I, that's what I said. Now, if the, her sister's a mess and she looks lovely, I looked at her for a minute and go, okay, I see where... At the by the mercy of God, she could have been retarded looking. You understand what I'm saying? Like Are you she going the Patrick Swayze, Patrick Swayze's brother thing? That's what I'm saying. All like, right. it, she she got an extra gene that her sister didn't get, and, mm -hmm. and you can see where it is. You can see her face is is there as you know. It's could Are you be, trying to say if you squint, she could look uh, half retarded? I'm saying if you were her boy, <laughs> if you were her boyfriend, He's on a roll. He's af, if you were her boyfriend after or whatever, if you were somebody who was with her for a few years, you eventually would, you'd you go, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> but not. But that's not. How that's, the hell does he even say something like because that? Because women, first of all, they're not like us. I know you look at me. I'm a fat mess. But we're not talking about me. We're talking about late. I'm saying guys are visual. She's lovely. But I'm saying you can see. You could do. If you turn your head sideways three times, you can see, okay, she could have been her sister in the blink of an eye. By the grace of God, she's not her sister. Well, what do you, because you were trying to say something. But you okay, don't seem too happy not. with that analysis. Oh, she, I know she's like, she just don't, I don't want to. I like, under, I understand what you're saying, but I don't see it in her. Right. I understand what you're saying, but you I, just keep. Is it the forehead? But she can just keep going on and on with it. Yeah, she's just like, she's getting upset with what it. What bothers you, Patrice? The forehead? Where are it, we at? It, it's, it, you're, well... Yeah, she's a little. She has a mongol like a. Uh, <laughs> she's beautiful. Oh, you oh my god! Beautiful girl. He's basically saying you were this close to being a waterhead, and I want to know why. <laughs> you said a waterhead. See, they set me up good cop, bad cop, but OBC yeah. sees the waterheadness I'm talking about. But she lovely. There is nothing. I I don't even Let's understand what you're way. talking if about. If I was her, I would have had her. Hair. <laughs> I'm saying. Right, Thank you, Dad, for not leaving me like that. Oh, she's got a, that. Look, she's got a ponytail going. I would be so right proud to be with her. But I'm saying, after a couple of years, I'd be like, any of us would be lucky yes, to be with one of the Cleveland. Yes, she's All right. Poor, she's exactly. lovely. All right. <laughs> wow. You're saying that because you're just a hater. I'm you're not a, a hater. Cell. I love you. Okay. I love you too. I do. I, I really but do. But you shouldn't be able to fit my hat, it. though. <laughs> oh my God. She's so mad. This is what I like. This is what I mean. I want him to hate you first, and then you bring him down to love. That's all. You can switch it up. I want her to have some feeling. Because I know she's used to the goofy Long Island guys going, You know, hey, uh, Jennifer. You looking there really hot, day. So right. that's what I'm saying. I'm right, saying. Let them be for a little while. Hard Rock yeah, Johnny the brought the cleavage girls in. <laughs> And beautiful, brought the, the food in today. We we thank Hard Rock Johnny from the Hard Rock, and uh, we got the girls from the Bunny Ranch. Get on the couch. Ooh. Oh, oh! Now we got like twist uh, this around. Wow, this could turn into a WWE match. We Oof. got the Cleavage Girls, and we got the uh, Bunny Ranch and the Bunny Ranch Girls. Dignity versus no. Smart Moves. That's the, that's the name of this group. Smart Moves and Dignity. <laughs> in this corner, 
them <laughs> and 120 pounds doing what they should do to their 50. <laughs> <laughs> the Bunny Ranch Girls. Bunny Ranch Girls versus uh, the Cleavage Girls. Versus I will not be objectified in any manner. <laughs> Can we get a cat fight going on today or something? No. Who wants the cat I fight? I that's doable. Do you have any Jello or so like and or KY <laughs> jelly? Now ask the cleavage girls, you'll get a different answer. <laughs> I'm, <it's>, no, <laughs> no response. I'm gonna tell you the, the I didn't the, the, the server girl. She's she's complete. She's she's a trooper, but you can see her face. She yeah. has hopes and dreams. It's yeah. just it's useless. Hey, Bunny it's Ranch. useless. You're already saying it's useless hey, for them to hey. want to be something in life. Because d women are always defined by how we feel about them, but they're always fighting it. Why not be an object of desire till you're not? Then, you're, then bartend. You're saying that one is futureless and one's retarded. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> you're destroying it. And this show started by us saying how beautiful the cleavage girls are. By the end of the show, they're going to be messes. That's just my own. All right, back thing to the Bunny out. Ranch girls. What I love about them, we asked them if they would catfight. They didn't even have to say yes. It was like, well, what are we going to catfight in? That's their. Yeah, that's what they need to know. I like Jello. You like Jello? It's flavorful. <clears throat> Do you hear Jello, that? Yeah. We and it's not. A, lube. Listen to her voice. It's not even a sense of like I'm making myself look like a fool. She's like Jello. <laughs> <laughs> I saw her the other night at the Comedy Cellar, and I, I said like, "You yeah, were talking about Big A and what they did with Big A, and how she got her hand like." <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I'm All like, right. wow, that was really cool. And she goes, did you hear it on the radio? <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> God. I was there with you in studio. Hey, oh, you dummy. Nice us to begin with. Hold on, exactly. Yeah, me. Okay, I didn't recognize her. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, Jimmy brings up a good point. We got to we gotta tell the story again. The, the last time we saw them, <laughs> they came in to help out Big A. Big A is a... A nice guy. <laughs> uh, uh, monstrosity, were you going to say? Good match for his sister, probably, or her it, sister. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Now, Big A, uh, he's, he's a very big gentleman. He has a speech impediment. He, uh, he sweats profusely. He sweats like an animal. Um, he makes his hair look greasy. Oh, and, and yeah. He's a, a bit overweight. Not to mention a few things were retracted inside, <laughs> like deep. In yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah. Well, really well uh, sometimes <laughs> sometimes uh, fat people, people that are very overweight. Oh, man, don't qualify a stink to any other fat people. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I work very hard to get the no, crevices. No, no, I'm not even talking about that. Sometimes people uh, uh, get so big and the fat collects around a certain area that it becomes an innie. Oh. becomes an innie. And, that was the uh, least of his problems that day, by no, the way. No, it kind of was because it was almost like they were, uh, what, what is that thing you got to do with the catfish? Oh. <laughs> Where you... Noodling. Noodling. Oh. noodling. Oh, noodling. It was like they had to noodle. Oh. <laughs> it was like they had a noodle for it. They Pushed had a noodle down. to find the catfish. And there's the picture. Push down yeah. the fat around it to get it to kind of... Right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. a balloon uh, animal. All right. Where you twist it and it goes... <laughs> and then... <laughs> we just felt like we needed to take care of Big A, and the girls happened to be in town for the Bunny Ranch. They're beautiful, obviously. And um, after about two hours, they had to give up on Big A. Nothing was going on. <laughs> yeah. And then, after my knee got tired and then my arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, what's your name? Bunny. Bunny. Bunny <laughs> <laughs> uh, ran out of the studio crying. I wasn't crying. I, I, was had, I went to go wash my hands. Yeah, her eyes then, were watering from at, just gagging. And, and, that was the smell. Well, we followed you into the bathroom and there was some that puking was or, or attempted puking going on. <laughs> that is so sexy, the bad choice she made in her life and it's just she's dealing with it. What a soldier. <laughs> yeah. She what did deal with it. Soldier. Her <laughs> eyes were tearing. Uh, it was it was like when they d put you through basic training and make you take the gas mask off in that room. <laughs> and <laughs> and just, not to mention, everything's running out of her eyes. Not to mention the entire bottle of hand sanitizer I went through afterwards. After I oh, washed my hands like 20 so, times. Yeah. And guess, then the bottle. I guess the point I'm trying to make here, Bunny has pretty much seen it all. Oh over yeah, the, over the last year or so, right? Oh, look at her face. And She's really making a, a a hostage face. Could that have been one of the <laughs> worst experiences you've had to do since you've been in the business? Yes. <laughs> it was the smell. No, I'm Glad not. We could have I, I could not. I don't know if I can answer that. Wow, really? There have yeah, been like be, worse. It had to be worse. Dude. Could have been worse. What, what yeah, was the worst I one? What, seen what, worse. what was worse? <laughs> what was worse? Not than, a mammal. What was worse <laughs> than running out of the studio? We thought crying, but you were gagging. And puking in the bathroom because there was a smell, and there was also something that was just left on your hand that has never <laughs> some, been seen before. Some wealthy terrorist. <laughs> but he couldn't have been. As I don't. I don't know if legally I can say it on the air. Yeah. Um, what? Your worst experience? It's, yeah, it's a little. 
It's a little nasty. It's really nasty. Now, what was the dude? Well, it's you know, scarring, traumatizing. Do you know how to write? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> how about we how play to... charades, buddy? <laughs> All right, if you know how to write, write it down. Right. Make us spell Jello yeah. first. What's it rhyme with? <laughs> J-E-L-L-O. Yeah. Jello. <laughs> write it. Write it down right, a little. Write and, it for um, our worst experience. It's... I'm, I'm gonna look uh, on. Sweetie, you, you don't write. hold a pen in the fist. You gotta do <laughs> yeah. Take the pen out of your mouth and write. <laughs> you, use your index finger in between. Your middle finger. Why is she making a lot of hearts? <laughs> we need letters, not hearts. She, only, not, she, know, she only knows how to write numbers. <laughs> uh, I'll just uh, look at her. Uh, With an HR and a dot after the... <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, I remember this one. All right. It's a role She had to do a little yeah, role playing. She had to pretend to be um, some somebody. Hold on. Okay. Um, and. <laughs> it was not uh, a priest and an altar boy. Uh, 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 I didn't know Oh, gracious. this is part of the role I didn't playing? I knows how to read bimbo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's fluent. I'm fluent. He's fluent and slutty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took a college course on, on, uh, on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he wanted. <laughs> oh. mm. yeah. the, the letter four. <laughs> Where are we at, Ed? You're doing real good over there. Uh, oh, I like her because okay. she's smart and she still made bad choices. I like her better than you. <laughs> How did I make yeah, bad choices? She's wow. <laughs> you pretend, she's pretending All right. to be That's a good money. one. All you, right. you own a house, don't you? Well, I'm about to. Mm, I knew you were smart, baby girl. Yeah. I see you. I they're, see you over there. They're both I very happy. Every time I see these two, they're very happy. She's smart girl. We've had a lot of girls uh, over the years in your profession, let's just say, and uh, most of them are miserable. No. You seem to be really enjoying your lives. <laughs> no, I don't suffer in silence. If I wasn't having fun, I wouldn't be doing this. All right, very good. What a sure. creep this guy is. Can we say this on the radio? <laughs> yeah. This is our yeah. worst experience? Yeah. Worse um, than Big A. See, Big A's listening right now. Big well, A, uh, they're going to forget about you in bad. about a minute. But this is more mentally uh, scarring. Wow. Than, that was physically, <laughs> like the Big A was physically. You know, gag reflexes, I can, I can get over, but. Yeah. This, this is more like, I'm going to remember that for the rest of my life. She yeah. had to um, uh, pretend that she was this guy's uh, stepdaughter, mm -hmm. is what it is. And he <laughs> caught her being a hooker. So he wanted uh, her to allow him to be a client so he wouldn't tell her mom. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's from a movie, I think. It, it was the worst experience because it, 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 it was the worst experience. Oh, oh. Wait, that, what was that's that? why that's the worst that's experience. the whole thing? <clears throat> no, that's not all we do. Oh. But. The, the, you, know, you know why it's bad? It's before she even got into the business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, thank you. That's even... Thank you. I was trying to be clever about it, and thank you. Yeah, that was... Uh, that, that's why it was yeah, it's, what, That's what scarring, but we do things after that. Actually, me and her, we share him. Yeah. And he's in, <laughs> yeah. he's in our stable. Is what yeah. he likes to call it, and so he brings us food. He's and our he little slave, and... basically. He does whatever really? he wants. He wants to be one of our many men and cater our to our needs. A lot but, of cash. Yeah, what our it... fool. I mean, he comes in, and it's basically our job to make him feel like this big. He likes being humiliated. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. What? It, what? Like being very vague. What does like, he? What does uh, he do for a living? I mean, do you know? Oh, you know, honestly, you I know, but he looks like know. your principal, Mr. Something. Rogers. Yeah, he totally Mr. looks like Rogers Mr. Rogers. Type look to him. Like a librarian uh -huh. or something. Probably, wow, so a white federal guy. investigator or somebody. <laughs> yes. white somebody guy, pervert. That, a yeah. How do y'all get away with it? How do you get away with being white guys all the time? No one ever questions you. Just some. <laughs> hey, no dude. one said he was white. He's not uh, black. Yeah. I'm assuming, but is he black precious? No. Exactly. Not stop it. it. Let's stop it. Mr. Rogers gave it away. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not Mr. Leroy. Mr. Rogers, exactly. Has he ever mentioned uh, about being in the FIC? No. He could be a federal agent investigating certain explosions. Is your most famous client a, a actor, uh, uh, sports guy? Who's your f most famous regular? Um. What genre is he in? Oh, I don't know if I could say without giving the it away. The genre news? Yeah, what? Just could the be genre? Just the genre? Maybe. Mine's TV. TV? Yours is a television show? Popular mm -hmm. or, or? Yeah, very popular. Really? Oh. Wait, what kind of TV? <laughs> Sitcom? Network? Drama? Uh, <clears throat> news? 
It's like entertainment. A, uh, you know, mine's Frank. in entertainment, but not in television. Uh -huh. It would be too. Like, Some producer, or, oh, it's too, oh, it's too like it's too specific. Obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. too specific. Rich Voss. There was some yeah. girl. In, <laughs> <laughs> there's a story coming. No, out. she said entertainment. <laughs> there's a story coming out of Vegas. One of the girls is talking and said that uh, Clinton, Shaq. Who else did she mention? Were, were clients? These are uh, her uh, accusations. Well, accusations. That's why accusations. Of you after Shaq, I, hope, I hope Bill went first. <laughs> That's why the guys come see us because they may be paying that little bit extra than they do on the street, but we won't tell. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Our paycheck is bigger really? than the the pay the payout yeah. for telling. So I'm beneath you. Do you guys Damn. have to be quiet about who, who the clients are, right? Well, it thing. depends. It's their choice. I mean, some people are yeah. at places in their care. life where they don't care, and then other ple other people want it. Uh, yeah. You know, kept really confident. Some people it helps, like Carrot Top. I think it helps them a little bit. I yeah, think. Carrot Top. Uh, <laughs> they, well, yeah, oh, Carrot Top. Who's on the TV show? Hey, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. Who's what on happened? the TV show, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, Carrot Top. He's Dennis is good Carrot friend. Top has no problem admitting that he goes there. Going he down loves down. it. It makes his life better. People can think I, he's gay. Can I ask yeah, you a question? Yeah. Is he doing that to prove a point, or you, or you, or you can smell the testosterone? Oh yeah, yeah, crazy. Does he look like Ronald McDonald eating a hot dog? No, but he's. He's really buff, like yeah. he's really yeah, muscular. That, yes, oh, he's a lot, oh I, I love Carrot Top's body. All the ladies out there, he's much better looking. <laughs> he in is sexy. He is. If you put a paper bag <laughs> over his head, maybe or like <laughs> just put it in a <laughs> He's built like China now, like. <laughs> <laughs> Jim and I saw him in the lobby of one of the hotels in Vegas. The guy is ripped. Yeah, he yeah. really is. Like, he he's is. got pecs. You don't want to be. What else do you think he's doing in Vegas? He's yeah. going and doing a show and going home. You don't want to be. You don't want your ass kicked by you know Carrot Top. I'm staying out of this one. Now, when you first fell in love with. Any of the what do they what do the guys that you really like what what do they bring to the table? What? The ones that hmm. you go, man, if I wasn't who I am, I'd be with him. Yeah, are there <laughs> are there guys to the table? Are there nah, guys no, 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 no. I mean that taps into than... your girlness. Come on now, yeah, man. I for mean, real. We have, there's plenty of guys that come in and they take us out to dinner. You know, they wine and dine. Stop us. with this. St we talking about your mind and your soul. Stop with the goofy no. roses. I'm talking about a dude that talks to you and you get goofy and you're like, woof. I'm I'm losing it here. You know, I have a guy actually just um, recently. Yeah. <laughs> And all the girls butt. are so funny because he's so, so fine. He's so hot. And he'll come in, and the first time he came in, and, and that's what he wanted. He just wanted sex. And then after that, he realized that he liked me, and he just he wanted more of, like, a, he's getting out of a divorce, and he wanted more of a relationship. Uh -oh. And so I can't really upfront. Mm. I can't just say, give me this money. I've got to, like, melt it. <laughs> and I like him, and I really enjoy being with him. But now I'm past that lust point, and I've kind of realized that... I mean, You're he is what he is, and I am what I am. And Are you still oh, there's money? a fine oh, yeah. line. I mean, you <laughs> can this really guy can get whoever. If this guy's listening, he thinks he knows I who he is. He, he can get this girl. He can I get have her. a wow. lot of regulars that come in and see me, and then I get very close to. But there's a fine line, and you know not to cross that. We line. We know that, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. Have you ever caught yourself like no, just slipping? I I'll put you this. Way. I, I used to see a girl I met on Craigslist, and oh, 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 she was a good was girl. Was there a sting though. operation? Oh, no, 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 of course, <laughs> we find all the good girls on Craigslist. She was a good girl, and I saw her for a while. I love it. And then she. We, I saw her in Los Angeles. She goes, you know what? How about no more pay for play? We know each other. Let's just hang out. And we started hooking up for free. She wouldn't. Was take, she high? Uh, no, she wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't take the money anymore. She oh, wouldn't take the money. Look at wow. that, huh? You must be that good. No, not at all. Mm. Like Are you a was, tripod? No. <laughs> no. No. Yes, My leg cut off, maybe. Okay. <laughs> yes, he is. He makes me sick. Yeah. He should not have the jammy he has. It really bugs me. I don't know. Maybe if you come see me at the range. Why have we all know. seen Jim Norton's get jammy, that, by the way? little connection you're talking about. Whatever. All right, listen. We're gonna, we got a break. We got a break. I'll make you commit suicide, <laughs> Hey, after the break, we're going we're gonna to meet Bear in person. Yes, finally. He's one of the fathers that is hoping to get a, a trip to the bunny ranch. Is that Bear, the mafia witness that's been sitting yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was about to. I thought he came in with them. I'm sitting there going, why is Chuck Zito all mad over here? <laughs> Look enough of him. Oh, wait till you hear there his you story, go. Patrice. It's going to drive you uh, nuts. Yeah, he came into yeah, the just... diner before uh, The Sopranos went black the other day. <laughs> <laughs> he walked in. And also, we have another bear coming in today. We got uh, the dude from uh, Man vs. Wild. That was the show yes. you turned us on to. In studio He's today. He's coming today. Yeah. Yes. That guy's uh, the star of Man vs. Wild. The English dude. Yeah. My God, that's fantastic. <laughs> He'll be here in about a half hour. That's, that, 
And he's swimming with alligators uh, this season. So. That is, G this guy's. Uh, uh, we love this guy. Pick. Have you seen Man vs. Wild, Jimmy? No, I've not. It's a great show, it really is. We'll get into that as well. But uh, and you got to bring up Survivor, man. We must, we must put the challenge. Sub a we'll Survivor, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll talk about that. It's Opie and Anthony. We have a real good hang today, that's for sure. Tomorrow's the big day. The Opie and Anthony Traveling Virus Comedy Tour hits Jones Beach yeah. on Long Island. Patrice O'Neill in studio helping us uh, pump the show. Jimmy Norton, of course, here. Uh, later on, I think Bob Kelly's stopping by. Rich Voss. Uh, Bob Sag is supposed to call in and uh, and talk about the show a little bit today as well. Uh, tickets still available. Yeah. I know after the show today, if you could find us after this portion of the show... Uh, we have 100 tickets to give away to the show at Jones Beach tomorrow. Right. Brought to you by Bud Light. Always worth it. We got the girls from the Bunny Ranch. They're doing a great job uh, this morning for us. They're now on the Pal Talk camera. Who cut their heads off? <laughs> Fingers, it's E-Rock. E-Rock. What's the matter with you? Well, I, I went with the long shot. And uh, Erot's got the tight shot, so oh, okay. it, it works out. All right, all right. I see what you guys are doing. You're working together as a team today. I was saying they look like the girls from The Shining, all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Come play with us, Danny. <laughs> also, we got the Cleavage Girls over there. Uh, we're leaving them alone for now. And uh, and the one girl's really mad because she doesn't want uh, people to really think that she might be close to a waterhead. Oh, <laughs> she's very absolutely nice. not. She's Beautiful. She's very attractive. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't come Both up with likes this. Both girls, watch out. I bet she does really well behind the bar. Oh, I bet you really like you 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 get I mean, like regular guys that are always in there like uh, trying to pick you up and stuff. Yeah, yeah. but um, it's a tourist area, so it's kind of hard. It's like you get people that want to talk to you. They don't speak English. You know, they don't really speak English. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, and I'm going on to the next person. Like, <laughs> well, how long have you been working at the Hard Rock? Um, Boss? since our grand opening in August 2005. Okay. Wow. I'm very good. And uh, if Voss was a woman, that's what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> the insult. It's not an insult. That you're what? flinging it. What, you insult. think you think, think Voss would make an attractive girl? <laughs> yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Voss is sexy. If you yes. Look at him. Oh God. Voss is he's a dummy, but I mean he's there's something attractive about he's, Voss. He's great little body. Man. Voss will be here any minute oh. too, so we'll have to beat him up a little bit today. But Therese had a very good observation about uh, uh, catch a predator, and then we got to move on to bear <laughs> and the other fathers. <laughs> Hopefully giving away the, the, the trip to the Bunny Ranch. I'll just say real quick. Me and my man was just talking about this. like Because you watch it, it's getting repetitive, the, the guy coming out. So instead of like having him come out and interview, just when they set him up and the guys come to the door, just have a 50-year-old woman come to the door and the guy goes, you ain't 13. <laughs> <laughs> just hangs himself out to dry right but there. you said you was 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Remember that stuff? I, but the pictures I sent you of me naked and what? <laughs> Who oh, are you? How great would that be? Who are you? <laughs> or a fat retarded girl. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. You, uh, yeah, they got to get a little more type? clever. Are you? <laughs> as yeah. far as catching these guys. what he was there for. Yeah. Exactly. God, that's really that's funny. a very good point. <laughs> hey, let's be fair. And then we got the uh, we got Bear from Man vs. Wild coming in in about 20 minutes. This show is way, way too packed today. And we have Steve, who's a bear. A lot of bears today. Yeah. Patrice. Like bear Den. Meet Bear. We met, Cleavage man. girls meet bear. Bunny Bye ranch bear. girls meet bear. Girls. Uh, this guy, uh, no offense, bear, but but pretty desperate. He's uh, mm -hmm. married with four kids. He's got the big house. He's got the wife still. Hasn't had sex in 12 years because. Uh, Wait, you're married and you haven't had sex in 12 years? Yeah, my wife and Sounds I haven't like slept together in 12. About 12 Not even slept in the same bed, right? No. No, there's yeah. too many cats. And there's an update on the cats. You said 15, three, and then I tried to get rid of. They found their way home. Oh, so, no. 18 cats. Uh, he's a dude's dude, by the way. 18 cats. Wait, do the 18 cats just roam the house? They roam the house. Uh, say. Go out in the yard. They, they roam the neighborhood. Oh, that's so you married the, the cat lady? So Simpsons? you'd give your yeah. neighbors yeah. a BB I, I gun. That's what cat, you do. You know? Yeah. When they roam the, the neighborhood. She me, if she feeds me. Bear, what do you think oh. of these girls? Like, you, these are potentially some girls. My who heart's pounding right now. <laughs> are you, are you well, yeah. well, I'm yeah. pounding right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pounding. Patrice. And we had his wife on. I know, look at, uh, this is, I knew this would get to Patrice. Oh, just wait, We had Patrice. his wife on the on the show a few days ago. Yeah, last Friday. And, uh, last Friday. Yeah. And uh, she's like, yeah, if Bear wants to go to the Bunny Ranch, I'll, I'll welcome him home and, uh, with a big hug. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. You have a, wow. you have a very, like... You could be in the mob type of look. You have a very, like, uh, a tough guy thing that you can ride. 
that I don't understand why you just said forget life. Like, why is life done for you? Why do you stay with a, the cats and the chick? Get out of there. Well, because my four daughters. Kids. I, I, yeah. It's How the old is the youngest? Twelve. So, and that was the last time he had sex. Jesus, man. Their wow. conception was just, last time. It's all time. about my daughters. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to, like... I know we're not on Oprah, so I don't want to get deep like that. But it's I don't want to be. You know, I don't want, I'm but not, see, that's his problem. Want see, he's a dude's father, dude, you know? but you should get deep. Like if my kid needs a band aid. I want to be there to put it. You on. have you know, a, I, I just I want that male yeah. figure around. You I'm definitely. Not around. If I were you, your wife would need a lot of band aids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's had one over a crotch for twelve years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say he definitely has a has a, 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 a fetal <laughs> position cry in him. Yeah, like no, it's, uh, he's a nice it's guy. Not, it's not easy, you know. I, I, you know, I work hard. I take care of my kids, but basically, in my relationship, I'm a paycheck. You know. Did you? Oh. Do you have the basement done up? Is the basement done? Where well, she actually has the den downstairs. That's her room. I sleep in a room. Can you I, bring women home I, if you want? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't disrespect my kids. No, like no, no. That. I'm just saying, sneak them up. You know, I don't care kids. what I do. I mean, How about three in the morning, Patrice. Baby? No, it's not even about that. He's he's had opportunities to cheat and he will not do it. Wow. So not even bringing girls. Well, you know what it is. To the house, he could do this. To try to get a relationship going with somebody. Now you're taking money away from the kids. You know, and well, we're not talking relationship. Yeah. Well. You all, you men all pay for it somehow, so I see what he's saying. Look you, at you this. That's for true. Angry, right. angry mess over here. <laughs> you just I'm in wait love for with her. me to take it all out. That's true. Oh, oh, you. But she's right. If it's just out to dinner. You, and, yeah, and you, you, need to be strapped, you need to be that strapped is, to our bed with our sports sheets and whip profusely. That's what you need. Wow. Excuse me? I said you need to be strapped to our bed with our sports sheets and whip profusely. You need my giant black hands around that pony. Detail, getting <laughs> reparations for slavery. <laughs> we can do that afterwards. <laughs> so, so the only thing I'm concerned with, I mean, Bear is a great candidate. This is our Father's Day uh, giveaway. Uh, Lucky Father's going to the Bunny Rancher for, for two days, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He's losing I his compulsion, it. boy. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. And your wife did say, we got the tape. She don't care. She doesn't care. She don't care. I just don't want to give you a great trip and then you come back and all of a sudden you're you're facing a divorce and that's it just wrecks happen. your life. That's Stop the press. That's all right, happen. Patrice. Uh, Stop Patrice, the let's go. Think about right. it. Even if it did, hold on, Bear. I love this How guy. How much more damage can be done? Exactly. But yeah. his 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 story has a problem here. Mm -hmm. The kid, you're on radio. Talking about how you getting ready to go to the Bunny Ranch and do your thing at the Bunny Ranch. Your kids have radio. This is what I'm saying. The whole thing where I'm a great guy. You're getting ready to go to the Bunny Ranch, which is a... It's a, it's a, it's a cat it's house. It's a cat house. It's a brothel. <laughs> well, we're so it's like... Yeah. I know you're not using his real name, but it's like if, you, if your kids heard it, they'd be like, that's daddy. Is so why not get a square broad to just come on up and sneak up every couple of days and, and do the square thing? Because they're drama. Because like, we're professionals and we do <laughs> it better. Oh. He probably told his daughter he's going away like what guys years. were doing there no, in prison. I like I was away working for the government, honey. He'll just say he's yeah. going away for work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm with Fick. <laughs> yeah. No, the kids think it's just a, a, a trip to Las Vegas. Yeah, Bunny Ranch right, sounds like a fun place with about. rabbits and Easter-oriented you know. things. We raise you know, furry little bunnies for kids with You know how many calls we get on Easter to call and see if we have bunnies for sale? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's mm -hmm. ridiculous. <laughs> this is oh, we do. I just don't want him to suffer after this. Yeah, that's what. That's He's the suffering only worry right we now. Have. The man oh. hasn't had sex in 12 years. That's All suffering. Right, Bunny Ranch girls, so talk to Bear a little bit here, will you? I think these two days at the Bunny Ranch are going to make up for at least or. You know, you made up for about seven it. years right now, just looking at you right now. Well, for the next, I just don't <laughs> the next ten how years you afterwards. Years without, hey I mean, there wasn't any point in time up. where you were like, <laughs> <laughs> if I was married and I wasn't getting laid, I'd be like, no, you have to have sex with me. You, you have, have to. No, I'm gonna rape you. Right, hold on, now. you <laughs> didn't hear, you didn't <laughs> hear the wife. You didn't hear yeah. her. We heard her on the phone, yeah. and she is miserable. Yeah. She all she would talk about was uh, taking care of the kids and her big house. And then we said, we actually asked her, do you love bear? And she went, ah. Ah. Oh. and then and then it was like, why? So why does we why don't you bear. give him some some sex because it's so. your you know marital duty or something like that? And she was like, she goes, because I don't need it, I don't want it. Is she makeover sexy? Like if you she's supposedly one a good looking uh, lady because she. I thought she, she saw her. She, no. I thought no. she was getting some Oh, she she explained her she explained herself. And it's only fair. <laughs> she's a very good mother. What? Oh. Where did it all go wrong, though, Bear? We still can't get to the, the bottom of that. One we of tried for an hour the other day, uh, last week, and we kids still don't know. Kids ruin everything. It's 
it just went out the window. It's just uh, we had the kids, and mm. she just didn't want to give it up anymore. She lost total interest. You know, and then you, you fight about that and things that. You know, I would send her flowers at work when she was working. I, I would get yelled at for that. Well, you know, you're wasting money. Uh, well, you know. oh, hey, oh. Can I, hey, let me add, by the way, because we got into his wife's uh, deal. She's not seeing anybody else, doesn't want to see anyone no. else, and doesn't even uh, take care of herself. She was raised she religious. Has no so, so religious. It could, so it could be a physical thing that's going on. She has on no her. want for sex no whatsoever. Want. No, it's religious. She was raised whatsoever. very religiously, she said, and she was that, that crap was drilled into her. She doesn't And, like and didn't she say she's had three guys in her life and yeah. bears in third place? Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. She had three no, guys no, in her I'm entire in uh, sexual you experience. about the guy from the bus station, you know? <laughs> oh. oh. She, I feel Patrice, she had three guys. I'm already taking Patrice, Bear in the she, bathroom yeah. and taking care of him. Patrice, <laughs> poor guy. Yeah, yeah, we're catching a flight at one. Can he just come back with us? Yeah, <laughs> well, we're really... we're going to another place in about an hour that we could get some things done. <laughs> if you yeah. guys are serious, so don't even mess with us with this. But fake, she, his wife had three serious. men in her entire mm. sexual career, and then we said, uh, you know, what place he comes in. And uh, third, I tell you out why. of the three guys, because of flowers and he, yeah. he was he's you're the least favorite. You know why? Because you're the best dude. The mm. other two guys treated her like garbage, and that's why she's in love. You are that's you're a good. good dude. It's time to do a little living for yourself, Big Bear. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, <laughs> after you do this this thing over here, this situation here, I will, get I'm some praying. old broad from Long Island who ain't getting it from her husband and smash her. <laughs> You understand? <laughs> Bring her upstairs. Forget the kitty stuff. The twelve-year-old is probably dancing somewhere, showing her butt. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You should <laughs> stop this nonsense. You don't have to suffer. Bring it. You're not Jesus. Bring it. You're some dude from Long Island with a faded tattoo who needs to have sex. Bring, Are you all right? Bring someone home and do it right on right. your daughter's I'm telling toys. you, man. <laughs> Some lonely Long Island broad. Right. Some lonely broad who thought it was all going to be okay when she was young, and now she's a mess, but she's a sexy mess. Take yep. it to a bear. I'm telling you, man. Forget this. We, we, we're we really feeling for bear. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, we got Mike in Paramus. Uh, Mike, you're on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up? Hey, guys. Um, there's, there's nobody else that deserves it more than this guy. I'm sitting in my car wondering, like, what the heck do, do all these guys deserves a, a treat like this and after listening to this story you, you gotta give it to him. Yeah, what else like could somebody come up with and and well, have we a got, better more? We got Josie's uh, dad. Uh, and I think Josie and his dad uh, bring them in because uh, this story is amazing too. <laughs> but Bear was so excited <laughs> to come. To be able to give this gift to my father, but he he, he at least has sex with my mother. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who doesn't? <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you out, guys. All right, man. There's actually tears in here right now. People look at yeah, yeah, yeah. People are getting all distance, choked like, up. Like, man, there's kind of like oh, tears. I hope in... that's not me in the future. Hold on. Bear is like shaking his head and it looks like you're getting a little teary eyed. What's no, up? I'm in, you all right? Uh, I'm all right. And Bear was so all excited right. to come in today. No, it's just that it's funny that, that 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 this contest came up because like five six months ago. I Hold thinking. on, Bear. I don't want to interrupt you, but Mel Carmerson just walked in. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, I, I, I hope I hope you don't give Captain Kangaroo <laughs> the trip. There's no way his story can be worse. There's no. All right, let's find way, out. <laughs> I don't know. The bad story. There's no way that the skipper from Gilligan's Island. <laughs> hey, 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 George Kennedy. <laughs> Thanks. I couldn't get his face. Thank you. Oh, of course, Midget Fingers got it. That was Rich oh, Moss. George who whispered it to me. That is it. And I stole it. Hey, boss, find yeah, a mic. That's a good one. We ran no out of way mic, somebody that looks like George Kennedy. Yeah, George yeah. Kennedy. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> boss, get some get close to the mic. <laughs> Sit with the Bunny Ranch girls if you have to. That's Bonnie will understand. You need a mic. He looks scared. <laughs> all right. Don't go look at his son. Is. He's scared. Yeah, well, it's yeah. Bunny Ranch. All right, well, uh, all right hold on. Some of your girl hold mamas? on, Patrice. Thank hold on. So we got Josie? Jo Joe B. Baby. Joe B. Joe B. Yeah. All right, Joe B. And that's your dad? Yeah. All right, what's the story, Joe B.? First uh, of all, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, that's your dad. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, when I was like eight, eight or nine, I caught my mom cheating on him. And uh, I came home and told him, let him know. And because of me, he stayed in the house. He kept her in the house. He sleeps on the couch in the other room. So oh. since I'm eight, he's been alone just for my sake. You know, to, to keep me happy, to again, keep my mom happy. Again, the kids. You should have brought your daughters in because this is changing me up. <laughs> yeah. Gee, what God, up? the sacrifices uh, oh, no. some people make for Not these kids. Not only that, kids. is he still she with her still? 
Yeah. yeah. But you well, got to remember, not, not whip, bear lives but... with cats. <laughs> but you're 21 yeah. now. Yeah. Well, now it's I guess in girls, well, now, girls now, wouldn't bring their dad in and say, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Everyone's talking. We got to <clears throat> say yeah. that. Go ahead, Joe. Bitch. At the end of all this? At the end of all this, now she's divorcing him and trying to take all his money from him. Oh, well, that's oh, always a good thing. This is your mother. This is my mother. Oh, do you live with her or? She lives in a house. He sleeps in. A oh right, you're still all in the same house. Yeah. That must be a happy situation. Oh, let's talk to Dad. Yeah. Dad, what's going oh. on? Yeah. It's touch and go. Yeah, touch and go. All right. Mostly go, no touch. Oh, so she's gonna uh, uh, d file for divorce and. Um, she did already. Yeah. She did already. And did she drain your bank account? No, she's trying, but you know. Jeez. Yeah. Good luck with that. Has to, well, no. Let me tell you, it's yeah. a load of laughs. Was she bringing guys? Really <laughs> was she bringing guys home the whole time? No. Okay. She no. was. She was with one guy for like five years. So how did you catch her cheating on him? Yeah. yeah let's get back to Joe B. Well, Jeez. when I was when I was younger, I used to go to her job with her a lot. Like in the summer, she used to tell me about this guy that worked. <laughs> Bring me presents from Are you sure she stuff. wasn't working? What? Yeah. <laughs> but, um, and, uh, <laughs> and, you know, she used to just, one day she just came out and told me it. And, you know, like, since then, he's been, like, the mother and the father. He Why would she everything. tell you? What? Why she, by the way, I'm cheating on your like, dad. Like, she's cheating. Yeah. She was just like, there's this guy that I see. I see him. And I was a young, I was, you know, a young kid then. I didn't understand. An eight-year-old? She said there's this her. guy that yeah, she sees? You had to understand, like, wow. like strange at eight. No, she probably he, she probably was saying there's a guy that you'll see around, or she was probably trying to set up in case the, the uh, he saw it. She goes, "This is uh, the okay. friend I told you about." Right, the work. right. Yeah, that's gotcha. what it was. And then you went and, and I went right away. You had some sense and went and ratted out to like, dad. Uh, yeah, he loves his father too. He got tattoos in the same yeah. places, and he loves dad. Yeah, got, dad, I met your they brother. They got father, father, son <laughs> tats and everything. Here. Oh, well, man. Yeah, he has all these new uncles all of a sudden. Dad, your brother. <laughs> looks a little Spanish. <laughs> oh, Meet Uncle Leroy. And, and he it, must tan a lot, Dad. <laughs> and you're here because you're tired of your father's cavalier, like, just loser attitude. You're trying to get your dad some, some, no, some spark, that, right? He has a good attitude. No, I mean, just you want, you tired, you want your dad to be doing... Yeah, I doing, want to go out and have his fun and you don't your, have to worry about me. Your dad's, a man, your dad's a man. Right. He should be able to uh, go out well, uh, and, and, and spend some time with a nice uh, young lady as a man. Let's but find in, out in, about uh, Dad. Let's talk to Dad a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, you can tell his attitude, though. Look. Are, are, he's, just, he's trying to be this cool thing, yeah. but he's just like... He did the right thing. Almost too. defeated. He, he did oh, the right thing for his that. son, I guess. Yeah. You know? I'm not that old. Oh, okay. No, I mean defeated, <laughs> like kind of like, God, I've been in a crappy situation no, for a while. Be, everything comes to an end. He's yeah. one now, so... Yeah. You know. have, you, have you taken care of uh, business on the side, or...? So, uh, with someone or look at that Jesus these wow. squares wow. yeah have you gotten some strange have you gotten a, a, while. a, 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 a AIDS no. scare or something anything no. <laughs> <laughs> they close the senior citizens home I'm like, oh, oh man he just Ouch. do you like these girls though do you think they're attractive yeah. oh yeah they have the same hair color yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know the, he doesn't even know where to put his hand bear the bear <laughs> bear is completely enamored bear's like dude I'm not even gonna try to be cool he's still trying to maintain his coolness from the 60s like he's still in Al's diner on, on Happy Days but he's just like Al's he's the diner. same way he's he's he, yeah. Bear needs it he wants it his son needs his father to have it he wouldn't mind but Bear needs it yeah, Bear's gonna. Yeah. He lives with cats. But I think this guy cat needs it more man. than you think. Crazy cat really, lady. he has a different personality. Yeah, definitely. He needs it more than you think because he's got his hands are folded, they're behind him. He's he he needs it badly as well. He just doesn't want to come off as desperate in front of his son either. Well, we're gonna Nobody have some questions. He's like, I'll come off desperate. What's yeah, that, man? Yeah, that's 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 well, let's talk to the son again yeah. for t a couple of seconds. Do you knowing your dad as well as you do? You guys are very close. <laughs> and looking at these girls, would, is this your dad's type? Yeah. This is anyone's type. Right? <laughs> Like yeah. He would like. Bird. He would like. He would love to spend some time with these ladies. And right. Joe B gets girls like that all the time. Like the, he he gets. You got good looking chicks, right? Yeah. 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 Look at this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's just like whatever. Well, Guy's got some out. game, right? Yeah. yeah. Joe, yeah. Joe when, gets when seasoned. Yeah. How bring, many girls bring, have you like, share oh, with yeah, your dad? Yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Joe B, do you at least leave your door open a little bit so Dad can take a peek? 
<laughs> well, you're, you're 21 now, so why don't you go out to the bars and bring somebody home with you? You know, bring somebody for you and somebody for dad. Here, Get a cougar. Do me a favor. You, go, you go set, up, set up set up a cougar. Every girl has that friend that you're trying to uh, distract. Every girl goes out with that friend you need to distract so that you can yeah. get her. You I, get her. So give the dad the distraction. Have you ever taken care of yourself to to your son's activities? His girls. Like you have his a, girls. You have, meaning you ever peek in and go, I'm gonna, I gotta. No, when I go to my son's room, there's usually like a <laughs> pair of thongs hanging from <laughs> the Al Pacino. Oh. Yeah, things like that. <laughs> otherwise, hey, hey Pacino, puzzle. all right, Tony Manero. There's, yeah, you know, there's a hole in the Mona Lisa's eye. <laughs> yeah. the next room, the girls going, "Is that eye moving?" <laughs> this, 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 he has a picture of an eye rock Z, and it's just the hubcaps cut out. He just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss, why would he have a picture of Mona Lisa in his room? It's a 21 year old player, and boss has him with a picture of the Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he doesn't know any band after the Drifters. You really are a whole band. It was almost brilliant. It was almost. like the concept of it was, it was great. great. But, I'm trying oh. to change it to I Rock Z to make it make yeah, sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, hey, what, what we're getting at, Joey, uh, Joe B, you got you got to return the favor for your dad. You got to get him some action on your own. If, yeah. if this doesn't work out today, yeah. you got to bring yeah. an extra girl home or at least keep your your door wide open. Teach so him how to use peek. the internet. Something. Yeah, you got to yeah. do something in return. You don't know yeah. the girls you mess with have sing, uh, uh, single parents. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really like that. A little weird. <laughs> Have you ever looked into mail order brides? Huh? Mail order brides? Ah, yeah. Mail order brides. Dad even wants that. He's like bride. He's like, I'm talking sex. I'm not talking marriage. But you know they're really handy. You can keep them in the closet. Bring them out when you need yeah. them. They cook, clean. Yeah. Little, little dusty, little dusty Czechoslovakian girl. Coming yeah. from... Hey, Bear's getting nervous over there. The listeners are, are chiming in on the phones and they get feedback like crazy. They're like, oh, don't forget about Bear. Don't forget no, about Bear. I, I still Bear, it, cat. He, Bear, I'm telling you, his his aura. Is he needs it, dude? He's down and out. He is. I can't. I love these this, these guys, but dude, you gotta get bear something. Dude. They're both shaped like the fetal position. That's how much pain they're in. You know, you know, it's actually, you know, what it, these guys got going for him is you. You can almost by talking live vicariously through your son's yes. life a, a little bit. Bear has nothing. He, he, he has nothing. Money he's he's, gotta, he's, 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 he's got to sit something. and listen to uh, about like the twelve-year-old girl stuff. But that's where. But hold on. But hold on. That guy yeah. got cheated on. And also, living through your son is also more frustrating because you see what could be. Yeah. That's frustrating when you watch that a young true. kid bringing home really mm. hot chicks. At least Bear just says, ah, my daughters are doing good. I'll focus on this. Yeah, I don't He's think... got to see these hot broads that he knows his son and is And I don't think yeah. Bear's wife cheated on you, right? No. Never. No. I, the okay. cheating thing is, right, the cheating right. is a rough yeah. one, man. She's just rough withholding. One. She's cheating on him with nothing, with nobody, is what she's doing. Right. Yeah. But at well, least she knows that... 18 the... pussy cats running around the house. <laughs> yeah. I'm leaning toward Why do you need to come cat? to the cat house? You've got a cat house of your I'm, own. Yeah. I'm leaning toward uh, George Kennedy myself. Are you really? I think so. The it's cheating thing is a rough one. And then she's still a, in the house? He has And then a, he doesn't do anything about because of his son? That's Opie, rough. I'm t Opie, d d d George Kennedy has a... <laughs> he has a getting some vibe, though. <laughs> See, this is the thing. you got to understand. Women ain't like us. You can talk and personality your way into something, dude. You still practice having a personality. You try to be funny. You still got your thing. You're chewing gum. You're trying. Well, and Bear he's, is... he's getting a divorce, and Bear's, he's staying in it. I he's mean, like, chewing so... gum goes on his resume? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he's trying to be, uh, like, he, yeah. he's, he's, he, has a, he has a personality <laughs> that I think can get him something... He can charm his way into something yeah. more than I feel Bear could right this second. I don't know Bear that well, but right this second, George Kennedy got some type of charm. I can yeah, definitely I, see you know him what? getting a hot piece, you know, after the divorce, you know. You know what? Now I'm leaning toward Bear after that explanation. <laughs> it looks like George Kennedy still has a little game in him, is you what you're saying. Bear didn't smile once. He's <laughs> right. just... Yeah. Bear would go after high the divorce, he'll she get the Lamborghini, he can and sit shotgun. Bear, Bear, Bear is like the scene The Vanishing where Sandra Bullock goes in. I just want to show you something in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, has a, Bear carries a fake cast what with you, him. What are you like? A, what are you a twelve? Size fourteen. About fourteen. Size 14. <laughs> Mama, maybe you can help me with this couch. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Would you? <laughs> All right, listen, we got a break. I so, love that guy. Any other fathers here, or is it down to these two? These two. All right, it's down to these two. Oh, it's either George Kennedy or Bear. 
We don't know what to do. We're going to have the girls ask him some questions, I think, Okay. coming up. And then uh, we'll see who really deserves this trip to the Bunny Ranch Man, for Father's yeah. Day. Can't both, both like, cut down one No. Or two? No. That would be... That would just be... Like Oprah-like. All right. <laughs> so everyone gets a car. Yeah. Now, on our show, someone has to suffer even All right. right. <laughs> they do, the listeners. <laughs> right. These two should have a Bravo film crew behind them. <laughs> <laughs> thinking? Thinking? I don't know. Thinking? thinking. He meant a thinking. reality show. You, uh, forget okay. it. Okay. All right. I actually didn't know what you meant. Not... No, we weren't even trying to beat you up. I was just oh, trying to get the reference. I actually didn't know what you meant. That's all. Yeah, you psyched for tomorrow there, Rich Voss? I'm looking, Jones yeah. Beach? Can't wait, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> yeah, what did you drop? Huh? A little lost <laughs> equilibrium there? What happened? You dropped I, them. I, did I, she say I, equilibrium? I, what? Which one's oh, equilibrium? What? Equilibrium, <laughs> and you're amazed. Wow, she's uh, she she just said equilibrium. She's not as dumb as we think. I know. Something's going on. These Something's little going phonies. on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're not really hookers. <laughs> the pretend ones. Oh, I love her. <laughs> We're gonna... You're not tanners either. <laughs> We're going to regroup. All right. So, Bear, you getting nervous over there? What's... You all right? Yeah, I'm good. You're fidgeting a lot. What's up? He don't want to lose it, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bear, there's nothing, there's nothing George Kinney's going to say. He, I love him. His son's a good-looking dude. He's a cool dude. I'm not leaving. There's nothing you can say to make me leave bed, dude. Well, really? good. Then nothing. I'm sure Patrice nothing. will be uh, at the Bunny Ranch <laughs> ready to help out. Or why don't you go take his wife's place? I'll... <laughs> I don't Come know what I was going to say. I'll, 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 I'll push wanted. Bear's booty down. <laughs> <laughs> Is Man vs. Wild Guy here? Uh, not All right, we're going to talk to Man vs. Wild Guy, who's uh, another guy named Bear. Bitch better have my money. Let's say hi to Carol. Carol, what's going on today? I got it. Carol, what's up? You made me laugh so hard. First of all, you got this black guy on named Patrice, yeah. which is a girl's name, <laughs> and he's fighting with Jungle Boy. It was, I, I cried so much, I couldn't put my makeup on. <laughs> is that, is that your wife, Bear? <laughs> no, we got, oh, uh, well, thank ouch. you, Carol. Carol's enjoying the show today. Speaking of Bear's wife, we do have her on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this going. Louise. Let's figure this out. Yeah. Where's my microphone? Hi, Louise. Yeah, get a mic on Bear. Hey. Hey, what's up, Louise? Done. We haven't talked to you in about a week. We got Bear in studio. He's looking hey, at the... Jake, you can call me back. He never called back. Oh, well, well, here you are. Uh, Bear is looking at the girls from the Bunny Ranch. They're in studio. They're lovely. Bear's uh, digging them big time, and uh, he's he's the front runner for the big trip to Nevada. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good for him. Good for him. And, the, you, and you don't you don't care. Yeah. Good for him when he sends you to, to a hospice in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Why wow, he's enjoying his life? God, I can't wait. Bear, talk to your wife. Hi, honey. <laughs> hey, what's up? Not much. Just uh, having a lot of fun. Nice people up here. Couple of beautiful yeah. girls. And okay. Beautiful girls. Kit Kat so, Club. Enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm having a good time. Good for you. All right. Good for you. How's that? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Louise, go ahead. I actually was calling about the tickets for the concert yes, for tomorrow. Oh, no. Oh, you want to go to the show tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I was actually calling about. Yeah, Doesn't she sound like that girl that Tony Monero danced with in Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> yeah. uh, you, uh, you know, I bet if you help Bear coffee? out, he might get you tickets. I'm, I'm sniffing her out right now. All right. Bear? Uh, what, Bear? Ask her, so are you going to take Bear? Are you going to take Bear to the show tomorrow? It's just yeah. about dancing. <laughs> hold, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. One one got person, too many things going on. I, I, she, let her answer on the phone. Are you going to take Bear to the show? No, I'm taking the kids. Uh, what about your husband? Don't you want to please him and, and tend to those needs that he has? Do you have a husband? No, but I tend to plenty of men's okay. needs. Twelve of them. I mean, if I, I don't have Obi, a husband, why you, hold on, hold on. I have a husband Let's I didn't want to please. Let's put it this way. It's women like Louise like, that are yeah, keeping these girls in business. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank true. you. Thank God That's for women like you. Louise. <laughs> All you do. Or don't do. All right, wait, wait. So, Louise, why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? I'm sorry? Why are you asking these girls if they have a husband? Good question. Because they don't know what it's like until they have one. Do you well, have no, a husband? I, I mean, I know that several hundred. I know that I'm not going to get married if, unless I want to have sex with the person. Yeah, I got to tell you. Wouldn't you husband? Hey, Louise, I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, we serve husbands every day. Everybody is my man, baby. <laughs> yeah, I got. Um, I got. We're the best wife. All right, enough of you, you parrots. All right, listen. I like these two. They're giving it to us. All right, listen, Louise. Louise. 
Uh, we all have met Bear. He seems like an unbelievable guy and a and a really oh, nice father. A <laughs> very nice, gentleman. very nice father. Okay. Very nice uh, husband. He su uh, supplies uh, the money, I guess, for the family. And uh, you kind of don't uh, give him what you should be giving him. She's abusive. No comment. Yeah. She's a, she calling in trying to act like she wants tickets. She was calling in because he's about to get a drop of self-esteem, so she had to call in to make sure that he, she's going to subjugate his soul again. Did you treat her too good, Bear? She likes being treated like garbage. Luis, her last name should be Fletcher. I'm telling you. You hear her You're silence? Joke. You're and you see joke. what that's what she came up with? You like to get smacked around, don't you there, Wheezy, yeah. or whatever your name is. Dude, Bear, I'm going to tell you. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's protective of her. Just get out of that zone, Bear. I'm telling you, dude. Bear finally lost his stutter, and she came in yelling, and he got it back. Yep, and he and he and he's sitting there. She just subjugate. Oh, I want tickets. Oh, you really? You call right at when your husband's on the radio for tickets? Why not yesterday? Why not the day before? Did you call? No. Why don't you go pet your cats? And I hope you love you Bear. If you hang out with me, dude, you'll forget about you. I'm telling you, stop what you're doing, dude. She's abusive. Louise, why not a divorce? She's not, a, she's not abusive. Oh, okay, okay. Right, let, let Bear talk. Let Bear Bear's talk. Bear's Actually, she's a, a man she's a, who has she's, orgasms could... is healthy, so that is abusive to, to withhold that relief. That's right. It's not good for the uh, prostate. He's, yeah. he's, he's the right. sole provider of her and her cats. Of course, she's not going to get a divorce. Mm -hmm. She, takes very, she takes very good care of the child. She's, she's a great mother, all right? And what about I'm you? not trying to sound like oh. a martyr or anything, but... That's what's important is the kids, you know. And what about I gotta come, you? I mean, I know it, it, it sucks that I got to come after the cats, but, you know, that's... Yeah, it does I, you, suck, But you're man. not even coming after the cat. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> actually, I, I, actually, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I actually think I Try come after the cut. gerbil, I think. I'm not sure. I, I, I might be after the gerbil. I still want to know what happened with these two. It, it, Abuse. Lu Louise seems like she's really pissed off at Bear. Maybe something he did way back in the day or something. Nope. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing. nothing That's Louise? why those other two guys... I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt here. Don't give her the benefit of the doubt. You can hear it. Her, She's like the, the, the chalkboard. Board scratch scene in Jaws all every day. <laughs> Y'all know me. You know I make a living. I ruin men's lives and their self esteem. <laughs> yeah. She's a good woman. Man. She's a good mother she's to the chick. She's a good mother to the. But it's you. We're talking know, about I'm, you. I'm a big boy. I, I you know, I. Yeah. Oh man! Wow, he's 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 just beating. It's like brainwashed. He's brainwashed. Ooh, yeah. I mean, he's That's what happened. I, her. I mean, I can. I, I yeah. she's no, a great I, I got to respect her role as a she's wife. She's the mother of my kids, and I got to right. respect but that. But she's also I your wife, to. and should be. Yeah, let me ask you a couple know. questions, here. Yeah. Louise. Mother of my kids. Louise, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> I'm better than. Me. All right, hold on. Let's talk to Louise for a second. Are you are you ever gonna give it up to Bear again? <laughs> <laughs> What? You answer that question. I don't have an answer for you. How do you not have an answer? You either gonna uh, someday uh, give him uh, what what he's due as a married man or not? I think what she's saying is uh, uh, that the answer is no. Yeah. Nope. The answer is no, right? Nope. <laughs> but things could change down the road. No. Huh? Anything is possible. Did you ever Anything is possible. <laughs> Champagne? No, she uh, she don't drink. How about drugs? You no, don't even don't you don't even just think that even if you're not in the mood for sex, you don't even think like this guy's been providing for me and my kids for all these years. I uh, you don't have any sense of obligation to have sex with your husband like even if, just for him? Ugh, she doesn't. The obligations. A lot of obligations, a lot of responsibility. You don't but you I mean in 12 years much. you haven't once thought in 12 years this guy might need this for his right. feeling good and his well-being. Like, are you thinking of yourself that much? Hmm. Obviously. I mean, I'm the selfish person in the world. You're What's the, that? I am the least selfish person. Well, no, 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 no you're you you no, are see. selfish yeah. because the, you do certain things around the house, work maybe chores that you don't enjoy doing, but you know it's your your you have to do it. It's kind of your responsibility. That you can, should just consider a chore and a responsibility because your husband might enjoy it and just uh, kind of. Put it in those terms. It's your duty. Yeah, you guys should not be married anymore. Is what it comes down to. I oh. hate to. I hate to say that. Yeah, but. consummation of a relationship. I Bring can't about wait for the bunny ranch. All right, I can't 
Wait, Louise. I don't think Bear can either. All right, let's <laughs> let's let's look into the future here, uh, Louise. So uh, Bear goes to the Bunny Ranch in Nevada. He comes home after a wonderful weekend out there. What happens? Nothing changes. She's gonna put him oh. down. Are you gonna, gonna probably? Yeah. Go, you I didn't, now, you I didn't now, satisfy the prostitutes. You can't even satisfy your prostitute, can you, Bear? <laughs> oh, I can't wait till you right. smash it, Bear. I can't wait. <laughs> when right, you see go. what's out there, Bear, baby. Big old Bear growling on those. Mmm, delicious. Right, so she's saying nothing will change after a weekend at the Bunny Ranch. I, I, I'm starting to lean toward George Kennedy again. <laughs> nothing will change. No, I want, I want she... someone's life ruined because of what we're doing today. Oh, it's going to be ruined. <laughs> what she it's wants. Be ruined well, of course cause... she's going to say nothing's yes. going to change. Yep. Of course she's yes. going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm fine with it. Oh. When I mean, maybe mm. it's just that she feels that she's lacking in her skills, which is why she's not providing yeah. for her. You could come, too. Uh, I, I wonder if say? she's going to ask how his date went and want details. Uh, are you going to, Louise? We'll make her a tape for training. Louise, Louise, are you gonna ask specific questions to Bear? Phone my crap that. Jesus. Louise. I'm here. Are you going to ask Bear questions about his date specifics? Of course, it'll be a good story, something else to do. Yeah. yeah Bear say, is a yeah, good story. Bear is what's going on over there? You're gritting your teeth, you're like you're moving your hand real fast. You're you're really mad over there. What's I up? No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. What it's it? just it's frustrating. I th I know yeah, what's going on here. Oh, man. Bear is Bear is I'm still frustrated. It's a little much depressing. Bear is still in love with Louise. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious. Yeah. No. It's in, obvious. No, I can see it in, in your love, eyes, no, bro. I, in, in all honesty, I'm not. No, we're not in love. All right. Uh, He's loyal to an I, ideology. That's what yeah. they, they're both loyal you go. to a to an idea, right. an idea of family, and they're loyal to that. But that, but bear, you're you're just dying. You understand? Yeah, I'm going to go sit on that couch. That's, that's what I'm dying that's for. What, look at and get over and, there. Go sit. Go, go sit. sit. And listen to this. This is your husband getting up, Louise, and yeah. sitting next to hotness. Yeah, between them. He's going to go sit in your past. <laughs> <laughs> I, the story better say how far oh it went. Oh, my God. So now oh, Bear there he goes. The girls in the bunny ride. Now he's got oh, his God. arms around both of them. Now he looks oh, comfy. Oh, oh hand on the leg. Now he looks comfortable. Don't worry, Louise. What, what you're lagging, we'll take care of it. And we'll make sure. Oh. Oh. Look at him, Abby. He's, he's at remembering that. how to touch a woman now. Look yeah, yeah. He came back like riding a hobo. Now. <laughs> <laughs> they, they opened up. I can guarantee they you were up. a better ride than a new bicycle. You yeah. We'll take notes for you, Look at, look at Ferris' face. It's beat red, man. Oh, look the at him. Look at his like lips. You remember this. He remembers how sexy he was. Look, look at, at you, Bear. Look at this Bear. Come yeah, on. I got, hey. I got to ask Bear. I got to ask Bear. What it, when was the last time you actually touched? Touch the woman's arm like that, like her shoulder and stuff. How long? A long time. A long time, long. and really, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, damn right it is. Isn't that? Look, he's got, and now look, uh, her thigh. You see him what does that feel leg? like? Nice and smooth? Get a yeah. shot, get a rub shot. Rub your hand, like, rub yeah. your hand right on her thigh butt the area there. What's that? Nice, right? Tell the other bear to climb that. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's good stuff, right? Oh, bear, I notice you crossed your legs. Is that for comfort or embarrassment? Oh. <laughs> We're so happy for him. What's she doing? Yeah. Is she still there? Yeah, Louise is still on the line. I guys, I guys, and ladies, he's not a bad-looking guy, right? Louise, yeah, no, Louise, thank you, Louise. Go thank do the laundry. Yeah. Go, go do cow. your laundry. Go and clean the your cat, cat box. Feed your cat. Go clean the cat box. Yeah. <laughs> Feed your cats. Go do the laundry and then clean up after your kids. Your husband's here touching an ass. Go, go get your. Go. That's right. Go. I'm sitting in front of one. Go. <laughs> Rich boss, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, go to BJ's and buy a a, a seventy-five giant, a seventy-five gallon bag of lump litter and, <laughs> and some Tide and go do yeah. something while your, husband your husband touches soft, young, supple skin. That's right. Oh, look at him. Look at go find a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Wrinkle free. <laughs> Wrinkle free. That, Is that slow the... clap. <laughs> yeah. Bear. Yes. Bear, everybody. You go, Ben. Kennedy over I there. Don't, oh, damn. Oh, George Kennedy. I don't like George about Kennedy, man. Oh. Wait a minute. With a tear under his eye, you think he's a Latin king. We can't, we can't leave this guy out in the cold. As much as I feel for Bear, and as much as his wife is the picture of emasculation, <laughs> yes. at least this 
this abuse victim that he's married to never cheated on him. This guy's wife cheated on him, and the kid told him. So at eight he, years old, the kid told his father. At eight years old. So he should just go out and cheat on her. It's pretty also, much my logic in right, the whole well, situation. Well, he could get a he could get a free omelet from the Hard Rock. What can I tell you? Uh, right, there you go. <laughs> hey, if you heat it up and roll it the right <laughs> way. Divorce. <laughs> I mean, Bear's stuck in this. Uh, <laughs> I love George Bear's Kennedy too. Lifer. I don't want to do, but I don't want to see George. George yeah, Kennedy, yeah. the food's free. Have as much as you want. <laughs> Bears could be eating something else. You, you enjoy the omelet. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so, George, I'm so... Wait. I, <laughs> you can enjoy things, uh, compliments of the hard rock, and he'll do something that kind of sounds like that. <laughs> I don't think that we should. I don't like leaving him out in the cold like that. He had a real story. I, I, he had a real story. What is his story? You no, 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 but I mean. He, you hear the ghost of Christmas every She's awful. Ruining his life. <laughs> uh, his story, we just don't have the wife with him. Like, we have his son, who's like a good looking guy, tells the story well, but you can't see his, his awful pain as much but as you can with But let's be honest, Bear has. His wife is freeing him. Yeah. His wife is saying, yeah. all right, I, I had my fun with but you. I told you Jimmy, Jimmy, now Jimmy I'm going. let's be honest. Bear has no hope, but at least George Kennedy has a little hope through his son bringing home some broads. I totally see George Kennedy in a Lambo, you know, after the divorce. Look at the yeah, Lambo. Yeah, I'm telling you, they see the same thing. They don't see. Yeah. They stay feel for bear. You don't feel hey, uh, George Kennedy can get I a gotta, girl. Hold on, His hold on. Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Breaking news? Bear's wife hung up. Is that going to be a problem? Yeah. I, ah. I want you to go. No. There you go. What? She honestly doesn't care. Yeah, whatever. They do deep inside. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, she, you, know what? you know what? She does care. Maybe this is my first step now to doing what I got to do. Hey, hey, nice. Hey. This is a reality check for yep. that she got to put out. This is damn good. Because all of a sudden, you're, you're sitting here, two beautiful girls. You got your arms around. You're kind of feeling new new flesh yeah. on your uh, the palms of your hand. And your wife was listening to that. And she's like, yeah, I don't care. And then she thought about it more, I think. And she's starting to think... You know, it might. You guys are gonna, you know, go out on a little date, and and things can happen. You know, more touching, whatever, whatever. He's but I'm just saying that's in sinking into our head. Sopranos. Huh? That's <laughs> sinking into our head. What? He's better looking at every character on The Sopranos, except for uh, Michael. <laughs> right now, his wife is back at the house making words at a cat turd like alphabet soup. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't want to leave George Kennedy out in the cold. Well, we're definitely. Get, I don't either. Hey, but you know he's, something he's not though? Two, and I'm not going against Bear. I just won't. I can't. I can't go against Bear either. When uh, Louise is like leaving him out in the when cold. When Louise is vacuuming the uh, floor, she could think of uh, the girls from the Bunny Ranch. <laughs> I know, and he can walk home, and hopefully it'll be like uh, the Nicholson movie, <laughs> the vacuum running, the skew a skew, slightly a skew. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give uh, Bear. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, man. George. Oh, George <laughs> Kennedy. Uh, George Let's Kennedy. talk to George Kennedy well, for a minute wanna... here. <laughs> I'm telling you. Have you have one last shot at this, George. to the show tomorrow, well, right? well, <laughs> You have one last shot at this. Why should we give you uh, a trip to the Bunny Ranch? Sell your case. Let's go. Age. <laughs> oh, age. How old are you? 63. 63? Oh, that's um, we, st we, we have met. Well, I'm saying, but he's got, he can go to Bunny Ranch next year. <laughs> uh, how, how, how old are you there, uh, Bear? 46. 46, and he's 63, so... But, you know, he's got the rest of his life to find a young, hot, like, 21-year-old. Chippy. Who George Kennedy? The older men, yes. Hey, look at George the, Kennedy. The got a tan. Life, the rest of his I life is at 20 minutes. <laughs> well, no, I mean, the light is at the end of the tunnel for him. He's getting a divorce. He's a free man. He has a tan. He has, like, a... He, he, yeah. All, That's right. He's, he's outdoors. Why would he be in the house? No one will sleep with him. He just stands outside yelling at God all day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, horrible people. I, I don't like leaving them out in the cold, man. Will, yeah. these, will these guys go together? Same plane and everything? Wow. Did you talk to Bear at all, George? We don't even know your real name. You're George Kennedy oh, for now Joe. on. <laughs> Joe. All right, Joe. Oh, you having a change of heart, Oak? I would like to see well, that, if we, There's if, only two of if them. If we could send them both out, that would be yeah. really fantastic. All yeah, right. I would like to do that. You man. don't have to, you know... Go well, out on your de dates together, <laughs> unless you know you become good friends on the yeah, plane. We have separate rooms. Wouldn't it be hysterical? They really get to know each other on the plane. 
figure they're gay and just <laughs> hook up. <laughs> <laughs> we should ask Dennis if if he would do that because uh, Dennis would do that. Dennis, I think would. Dennis, Dennis, is, would do Dennis that. is a giver. He's not selfish when it comes to the. Well, ranch. Of course, it's not his uh, property. <laughs> hey, man, Are we allowed to, to give away two trips? I don't even know. I, I would like to ask Dennis if it's possible. Unfortunately, he's call not here. Him. I thought there was a father what? son Get thing. Him call right. him right call now. Him. All right, hurry. Yeah, call him. We, we gotta hurry. Dennis is a generous guy. The ranch can handle. Well, we're talking about uh, a weekend at the Bunny Ranch a in Nevada. Weekend. Oh, a weekend, and a yeah. Friday, Saturday night. And don't and forget a about Cat afternoon. House, which is on Saturday nights at 11:30 on HBO. What do, what do they get at the Bunny Ranch? They get the VI, uh, the VIP treatment, basically. Is, uh, hold on. Airfare. We pick them up in a limo with um, either me or Brooke with them and a bottle of oh. champagne or both. Whoa. Hold on. I, I see something in the in the rules here. Airfare for a father and son. So we oh. blow off Joey B, okay, and we go father, father. Joey can't go. And then I think it, it's go. well within the rules that Dennis Hoff gave us that we could give away two trips here. That's you can be a son. Thumbs oh. up. Thumbs up. George Kennedy's, George going, Kennedy's going, to going to the Bunny Ranch. George Kennedy's going to the Bunny Ranch. Nice. Or maybe his father's son will just say I'm that. I'm happy about that, George. <laughs> Isn't that great? Wait, technically this could be a father's son if yes, George got uh, started a little earlier no. than he did. You say that Bear is the father, and he just looks like crap. He's <laughs> <laughs> just say he's 19 and really Really frightened. <laughs> he has progeria. He's a progeria kid. <laughs> Progeria with a pituitary problem. <laughs> a big progeria. <laughs> <kid. laughs> He's just a big <laughs> world's, uh, world's largest <laughs> progeria kid going to the funny ranch. <laughs> this is my 11 year old. He was in the dirty dozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? Bear goes. George Kennedy goes. Oh, fantastic. For Father's Thank Day. You. For Father's, Father's Day. Day. Great Thank Father's you. Day. Two married Thank fathers going to have some special dates at the bunny ranch out there yep. in the bottom. Uh, why can't Dennis, Dennis say Hoff. no, and we get a bill for forty thousand falling? <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Find out what he's into. Hey, Dennis. Good morning. Hey, Good Dennis. Morning. Dennis. Hi, I hope you don't mind. We just gave away two trips to your fine uh, bunny ranch. Whoa, that's great. You know, I don't know if the girls told you, but just recently Hefner did a fundraiser at the mansion. This same trip went for fourteen thousand dollars. Okay, nice. which two of them would be twenty eight thousand. So we we had two fathers here, Dennis. Both had genuine stories. We could not decide. We leaned towards one guy, but the other guy is sixty three, and his son brought him in. It was it's a real story. The son can't go, so we figured that uh, the the, the guys could take the son's airfare, so the two of the guys could go together. Because he really had a genuine story. His wife was awful. She cheated on him, and we wanted to send them both out. We couldn't decide who. Wow, that's great! I, you know what? I can't. That, you guys are so generous with my money. I love well, it. Yeah, let me tell you, Dennis. We couldn't get you on the phone earlier. You are a giving, giving man, and this will yes, be a is. fine Father's Day for these two. He yeah. is a well, giver. You know what? What the, the gift? They won't have. No, they're not going to have to worry about re returning that on Monday because it doesn't fit. Well, that's for sure. All right. Absolutely. Oh, my God. That is funny. That's a good point, actually. <laughs> good point, Dennis. They good all point. Fit. Uh, here's what you get. All right, yeah, we got to wrap you up get a, here. It's an airfare for the father and son, which in, in this case is uh, Bear and George Kennedy. Your car service uh, to and from the Reno airport. Uh, you get uh, VIP suites at the Bunny Ranch for two nights, three days. Uh, you get food and drinks. You get monogrammed robes and T-shirts. They live at the Bunny Ranch? Yes. Yeah, for two and days. They get, How uh, cool is that, right? Furnished with VIP passes. Uh, they get an, um, it's an amazing weekend in the ranch with a bunch of really smoking mm. chicks. It's all legal, regular, uh, fun it's, dates. You it's are going to go. Go home from this and just be a new man. You are going to tell Louise to just shut up, right? And, just shut and, up. And look at Tom Fiasano trying. Oh, no. And after what he smells like, those cats are going to like you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he'll wake up, they'll be 13 on his face. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, Dennis, by the way, Bear has already uh, started with your yeah. with your lady. Yeah. I just want to let you know. Yeah. Right. You might want to bill us for uh, the Running. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're looking pretty today? Yeah, they look yeah. fantastic. Oh, they're, they're beautiful. They're amazing. Beautiful girls. But they're girls. acting a little right. too smart, Dennis. I don't like that. All right, listen. Uh, <laughs> we we got to get off the air here. We're on our new HBO show on, uh, tomorrow night, you guys. BunnyRanch.com. Check it out. But you know what? Tell Tom. Tom needs a trip to the Bunny Ranch. Yes, he oh. does. Oh. Yeah, look at Tom. He's there shaking his head no, but his pants there. are saying yes. Tell the girls to rub up on Tom a little bit, and uh, we're going we're gonna to put him in the Father. Father's Day package. Ty, uh, Tom did take his tie off today. Oh, yeah, I know. He's got the casual look today. I wonder what the that's girl about. Casual Friday. Hey, guys, ask him for a raise, too.
All right, buddy. We got to run. We're yeah. see overtime. Right, but Dennis, you're the best. Thank you, man. And uh, the Bunny Ranch, we we'll got both guys going. Jobs. We're very happy. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> bye, Daddy. Bye, Daddy. Take, oh, care, look take care of Ho and A. All right. <laughs> oh, oh. Bye, Daddy. Thank you, Dennis. I, 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 Dennis Hoffman, everybody. Make sure you watch uh, what? what uh, Bunny Ranch on HBO. Cat yep. House. Cat House. House. 11.30 on HBO. Daddy. All right. We got to thank the the Cleveland Girls. Yes. Yes. The Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock. Right there in Times Square. Yes. Also, Patrice O'Neill and Rich Voss. And we didn't get Otto on yet. But Otto's going to join us at the other joint. Otto and George are also playing tomorrow night at Jones Beach. Tickets yeah. still available. Otto. You can just walk up to the venue and get your tickets tomorrow, and, and you can join all the fun we're going to have. It's going to obviously vibe. be a great, great show tomorrow night. We're going to be down on uh, 57th uh, in a few minutes. Yeah, we got 100 tickets to give away yep. right on the side. 100 tomorrow, tickets so. to give away. All right. Plug my podcast, PatriceO'Neill.com. PatriceO'Neill.com. Wow. You podcast? Nice. Okay. Kalamazoo yeah. next week. Yes, Rick podcast. Hey, uh, the final technical. word to the girls. Anything? Fair? I'm speechless. They're beautiful. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. How about a thank you? I don't thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jesus. We'll see you, Janice. How many more hints you need? Around the bunny ranch, this, it's not thank you. It's thank you. This yeah. sure beats a t-shirt and a bumper sticker. Yeah. Another station we get. What's your favorite radio show? <laughs> George Kennedy, oh, are you yes. happy? Yes, very. Thank yes, you. George right. Kennedy. Guys, All right, now we're just babbling. Right. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow night at Jones Beach for the O.N.A. Happy Father's Day. Father's Day. You had to say Indeed. That. Now, now I'm sad. Thanks. Yeah, happy Father's Day to my dead father. Yeah. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> we'll give last pair of tickets to the ONA Travel and Virus Comedy Show at Jones Beach to, to what? Uh, Joe Big? Joe Big? Yep. And, and his father. All right. Uh, you guys get a pair of tickets for tomorrow night's show and the meet and greet. <laughs>